Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rashid with M2G Exterior Cleaning Services. Let's change the pressure washing pump. So, after finally lugging this thing up my apartment steps, uh, yeah, I don't have a garage to work out of, and it's dark outside, so I wasn't going to do it outside, but I was a bit determined that I was going to get this thing put on today. Time to change from this pump to that pump. Excuse the boxes in the back. I've been ordering a lot of stuff. However, should be very simple. Um, four bolts to take off. Slide this one off, make sure the keyway is in there. Um... Put some anti seize on it, slide that one on, bolt it down. Tomorrow I will run it and see. Let's get going. So, this was actually a lot easier to take off than I thought. Um, I got all my bags of tools and stuff. Ended up having to use a 13 millimeter wrench to get it off. There's a little bit more play in this than i wanted it to be but either way it worked the bolt worked i couldn't get a socket on it because of the way the pump is actually made so with the pump on there i couldn't get a socket and a wrench in this small amount of space or a ratchet rather so i had to use the wrench to get it off but anyway um i got that off now i got some anti seize that i'm about to put on here and lube all of this up or whatever or put anti seize all on here and uh hmm, glad that's on there and uh bolt this thing back up and then run it tomorrow all right so i ended up having to take it off the frame the <sighs> the pump itself was um too big and it kept hitting the bottom part of the frame down there so i had to take it off the frame in order to get it done these are kind of handy because of the slots here so the screws can kind of adjust in and out however they need to with this being open um so that kind of helps a little bit with that there's barely any space at all like there's even less space here than there was on the other pump when i took it off so now I have to get the Allen key down there. That's going to be fun. So let's get that done and then everything will be bolted back up. Um, I'll see about putting it back on the frame or I'll see if I'm just going to carry it to the truck because my plan one day was to take this off the frame completely anyway so everything can sit in the truck. But right now, let's see if I can get that in there and we'll keep moving. So it's done pump is on um put the breather cap on for the oil the oil level is exactly where it's supposed to be it comes with oil in it so that's a beautiful thing this is going to be a problem so if you look here this is why i took the frame took it off the frame in the first place was because it was hitting this trying to get it on trying to get it turned and everything this is going to be an issue and my water inlet because it is a direct drive it's going to be an issue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with my plan of keeping it off the frame completely and putting it in the back of my truck and running it without the frame that is going to be the next project and i'll probably knock that out tomorrow but there's definitely a significant difference in the size of the pump and i'm definitely excited about it so i mean <laughs> This is the original pump, and this is the new pump. Definitely a major size difference. Now, again, this is a three gallon a minute pump. This is a two and a half gallon a minute pump. Um, I said before, I really wasn't expecting a huge, gigantic difference in performance. I just wanted a little bit better flow, a little bit more reliable pump, and a new pump, because again, I bought this machine used, so there's no telling what this pump has been through before I got it. But now that I'm looking at the differences here, the fact that this thing comes with a um, separate unloader, I can pull this unloader off and put a different one on. I can actually put a unloader um, hose on here and run a hose away from it or back to a tank if I ever get one and all that stuff to keep the pump circulating. So let's get this whole thing out of the way. 
So at this point, I am definitely, definitely, I'm gonna clean this tank up too. Definitely excited to get this thing ready and going. Like I said, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna have to take this off the frame and run it. But either way, it's done, it's complete. I'm ready. Oh, I'm so excited.